this should record everything. Uh, I'm sorry for the background noise, but I just have this microphone available here. Um, I want to show you quick how to update this headphone. The Quantum 800, I saw there is a new um, software that came out, and let me take this out of the box quick. Um, you know we have this dongle here. We have two wires. And then the headset itself. see how that update goes. I throw all this away here, out of my way. Um, here I have the head set. There, and then I have two sets of wires. There's one here that has a USB B and C. I think this is a USB B. The regular USB stuff and then the USB C. And then there's this other wire for the headphones like this right so we don't need this this goes out of the way and now we have a USB wire we have a dongle here and the headphones and that's what we need to run this we also have a software here on the laptop let me start this up so in this case I'm running Windows 10 and you always have to read the instructions very well on this whatever it says in this pop-up read it okay please make sure your headset is connected to the PC uh, via USB cable or dongle right so we're gonna do dongle now I can only suggest to do this from a laptop because if you have a power outage why do you do the update you might wreck this whole thing, so um, a laptop will never have a power outage because it has its own battery. Now, as you can see here, I have a USB hub on my laptop. That is also not a good idea to use that because um, if this is powered, like mine is powered, then you lose power when you have a power outage and then you also have a problem. That's what happened to me here, as we see in a second. So I plug the dongle in and I turn my headphones on. Like turning the headphones on, you just slide the slider over, then it makes a little noise, the light comes on, and once the dongle connects to the headphones, you will see that your software is working. And then we can do those update situations. There is here a thing what's called system software, and you can look up your software versions. So if there is a newer version, there will be buttons. So I walk you through my update quick. Um, only the dongle is plugged in, not the USB. You click on update, and the start button, and it goes. So what it does now, it updates the dongle. First it downloads the software for the dongle, and then it's installing the software onto the dongle. Now. It's just important that the dongle always has power in this moment, okay? <clears throat> That's why I suggest to run this thing on the laptop where you have a battery power just in case uh, you have a power outage in your house or what at that moment. Um, this update takes a few seconds. You can see the progress on the progress bar here. And it will tell you when you move on to the headset update because that follows next. Um, so far you just let it go and, and see what happens. Uh, if it gets interrupted at this point, um, then you just have to start over and click install again. Okay, so let's see what happens here. This is done in a few seconds. We are close. it goes so now the dongle is updated what it wants you now is to put the usb cable into your computer and into the headphone now the dongle stays in your system right so you need a second usb to plug that in there so in the second usb you plug that in and then you get a button you say next that's now here i click on it and then what's going to happen is that uh the laptop now, in my case, is updating the software inside the headset. Now, 
all the lights go off on this thing if it's charged, right? So there is no lights on it. That doesn't mean anything. You can watch the progress here on the screen again. Um, it does not take too long. So I would say from here, maybe a minute. If you are on YouTube in this moment, you can forward a little bit. So around the six minute mark of my video here, we go into the next step, okay? All right, so it is going. Just stay with me here. It's only a few more seconds. So I would say less than half a minute now. 15 more seconds before this thing is going further, okay? Now you can speak a little prayer to make this thing successful. All right, so where we are, okay? It's done there. So now it says disconnect the headset. So you have to now disconnect the USB cable only. The dongle stays in there, only the USB cable, okay? Now we turn the headset off and on. And then we pair it. So pushing the button on the dongle until it starts blinking. Okay, the dongle blinks, the LED in there. And then you push and hold the off button on the headphone into the on position. And then you wait for a beep. So you have to slide the slider. This goes over to Bluetooth. And on side is the Bluetooth symbol that's off to the on symbol. It's on and then a little further and hold it there. And once it pairs, it will beep, one beep, and then you're done. So let me do this here on mine. It's very easy, right? You get the beep noise, and then you are successful. Just click the done button here. There, on here, done, come on. And then we are back to this. And there it's checking for update. And then you see you have the latest version for both the app and the headset and your dongle. It's all back to the latest update. And that's how a successful update looks like. And if you have problems with your update, then you can see here in this video how it should look like. Okay, good luck for your update. Don't lose power and do what the instructions say.